software. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Jenkins Infra uh, Weekly uh, Meeting, Infrastructure Team Meeting. Uh, we are today the 16th of January 2024. Um, right now, we are only three with uh, uh, Kevin. Let me write you down, Kevin. Up. Uh, Bruno Barton. No, it's not Verachten, it's Verachten. I forgot how you spell Whatever, it. Whatever, Verachten, 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 whatever you please. Okay, care. so Bruno, if, if Bruno, if yeah, that's word. Word. with Bruno. And uh, for now, it's all, all folks. We may be joined by uh, Mark and Hervé a little later. Um, as for the announcement, the weekly 2.441 went out today, uh, was uh, fine. Um, I think that uh, we need someone to spawn the, um, the tag for the uh, Docker image. Uh, we'll have to check with Mark or Hervé. I'm not quite sure I have the rights to do that. But uh, for now, we can see that the 2.441 is out and with its change log and it's today, so it's fine. Um, announcement, do we have any announcement, guys? Nope, um, except that Damien will be off, uh, not next week, but the week after, and we will still need to uh, replace him for the voice for that meeting. I'm not sure that's uh, value in announcement. Uh, upcoming calendar, the next weekly will be 2.442 and will uh, be the 23rd of January, like every week, uh, except that the next day on Wednesday, that will be the LTS happening the 24th of January 2024. Do you have that number, Kevin? It, it may be based on 2.440. Uh, so the the next LTS for J the one on the twenty fourth will be two point four two six dot three. Of course, my bad. Yeah, and I think Bruno, what you're referring to is uh, Mark started the discussion about the next baseline selection. Yeah, oh, you're right. Um, which uh, which uh, was supposed to have been started this past Wednesday. So um, yeah, the four four zero is currently the discussion for next baseline. Perfect. So uh, let's see if there is any infrastructure security security sorry not infrastructure but security advisory oh okay uh, nope nothing so no uh next major event so um all of us guy will be at the Fosdem in Brussels, the two three and fourth of february the first day by himself will be the three and fourth, but the two uh, will be the contributor submit for Jenkins. Uh, so if we, if you want to meet us, just come to Brexel. And as for the scale in March 15, I forgot in, in which city, do you know which city is uh, the event of the scale? It's in the US, but I forgot where. Yeah, I can't remember the city. I think it's in California. Uh... Okay, so guys, if you want some uh, information on that, Google is your friend. Yeah. Uh... It's not a big deal, guys. Okay, let me start with the with the what we have done this week. Uh, let's start with this one. Oh, that that um, the person that opened that issue closed it by himself. Uh, we ask for some uh, some information to make sure that everything is fine, but no news, so it's done. Uh, Git user that had been blocked. Oh, that's a spam. Okay, it's been blocked from the Jenkins CI2. Okay, um, lost permission. Oh, so Alexander, not my fault, is Alexander Brender. This he, he took care of that. Thank you, Alex. You can meet him at the first M2, we'll be there. Um, someone wants to have the maintainer issue, same Alex did 
handle that. Great. Thank you. Condition. Oh, mock. Handle that. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, that one. I followed a little and Damien cleaned up everything. They they just forgot to clean up the ACP to make sure that uh, the change were good and they tried again with the ACP flushed and it worked. So everything is fine. Uh, someone have been aided. Yes. By an invitation, someone have been aided and everything is fine. Good. Oh, this one is a big one. We had to do, handle that with uh, with Damien. We found two problems with the, the redirection for the um, incorrect redirection for some mirrors. In fact, there were, um, there's two problems. The main one was a little mistake from Damien uh, during the last issue where he, he updated the, the charts for mirror bits, the, the legacy one, and uh, he forgot HTTP. Yes, so the URL that was built was um, completely crazy, uh, like this. See, archive is under mirrors. Uh, that's because of the HTTPS missing. Uh, with that, uh, that was working way better. And the other problem is that the asynchronous that uh, is handling our failover system um, is is asynchronously uh, updated, meaning that during that time um, we you can have 404 error because uh, the the fallback is hitting the the main one. So we have to change the way that fallback is uh, provided. Um, there there is multiple way, but we we need to make sure that we don't have that little gap where where there is 404. It's not even 30 minutes that depending on how it's handling the synchronization. So we will have to deal with that. Uh, oh, and this one is mine. I did finish to um, separate. Uh, we we now have three uh, goes file. One goes for Linux, one goes for Windows, and one goes that is common for both of them. And, and with all the version tracked with update CLI. So that new uh, uh, way of working should provide us um, an easier way to manage the updates and, and, and the testing of everything. So uh, it's done. Yes, no more goes for a while. Uh, close as not planned. We got someone who forgot his, oh. It's local host, it's not us. So we cannot uh, deal with uh, account from another instances of the CI. And this one, oh, this one, they did try a lot of things to explain why their, their core test was failing. At the end, they choose to increase the timeout to 500, which is not really a, a solution, but a workaround. Uh, Damien did look into the, the data to try to understand the, the main origin and there is no um, nothing pointing exactly. They were thinking of a version of the agent. They tried the old versions and had the same problem. And then with the new version, the problem disappeared. So it's pointing on a um, crazy network issue. Damien raised a new issue that we will uh, uh, see um, soon and it may explain everything uh, we will talk about that later so work in progress um oh so alex asked us to remove one of his certificate and Hervé is taking care of that yes we need to rebuild everything and we need to find that certificates good someone triggered the anti-span Jenkins. And so waiting for an answer to Mark to deal with that. Same. Thank you, Mark, to take care of all that. Oh. 
Oh, so that's that's a problem that we we found a bug that sometimes the images are rebuilt and shouldn't be, and and that would have been done. So so everyone is on there, and Damien planned to remove and clean uh, the the bad images that have been rebuilt and shouldn't have been. So cleaning in progress. Uh, this one is uh, for Hervé. The aim is to split, split, sorry, um, the 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 image of uh, Weekly because we're using that Jenkins Weekly for uh, Jenkins Infra and uh, Weekly.ci.jenkins.io, and we want to um, be able to uh, deal with the plugins and and what we put in in each of those instances uh, separately. Uh, in order to keep weekly as a um, show, you say show off? No, it's not show off. Uh, uh, proof of concept and 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 showing the the latest uh, uh, improvement in UI and 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 plugins. So weekly is dedicated to that. Whereas infra.ci.jenkins.io is the instance that we use to deal with infra and couldn't have the same exact plugins and configuration. So we need two different images to deal with. So uh, Hervé is uh, taking care of splitting that. We'll see. Up. Um, yeah, the idea here is to handle a version uh, of, of docs, docs.jenkins.io that are versioned and, and to keep track of everything. So it's Hervé dealing with that too. Up, down. Oh, this one is, uh, um, there is a problem on the database. So we need to repair to find exact the exact lines that are uh, not uh, correctly saved and to uh, remove them for the database to work correctly. And Damien did to start working on that and try to find the correct line by dichotomy. So work in progress to uh, repair the database. Oh, okay. So in terms of memory, I don't remember exactly what happened on that. Uh, there is some failure, depend the button, the request. Uh, the problem here is to make sure that it's not related to any network issues. So that they, they are pointing on Java 21. So that may be not be related. Java heap space. Hmm. Okay, so I don't know who is dealing with that, but uh, it's a work in progress. Um, migration leftovers. I have to say it's it's most in my pocket that one. Um, it means um, migrating data. So it's not something that you do uh, in two minutes and we need to plan and to uh, take care of that at, with two pair of eye. And we cannot really uh, spend time on that right now with Damien not really in. So that we probably would have to wait a little. All of them are really interesting, important. So work in progress. Oh, this one. Um, we did, um, I did the uh, skeleton. So right now we can export um, a textual representation of the URL used uh, for the mirrors. And the aim is to um, to uh, comply at and to uh, take a, a example of this kind of data, meaning that we can have in one JSON file um, all the data we want. For example, all the IPs of all the mirror can be in there, but we can also add others 
information about the infrastructure for uh, for us to have that infrastructure publicly available and up to date. So we need to convert my skeleton to JSON and to add information. And for example, right now, uh, information are our URL. Uh, we want to have IPs, so we need to dig on all the URLs and add more. Uh, for example, our IP from the infrastructure coming from the Terraform can be uh, pushed in that uh, JSON file. Um, Hervé took over, uh, so we should update that. But Hervé took over on that JSON file. For me. Uh, this is my current work. Uh, for this, and in order to use ARM64 more and more, I am um, moving uh, all the image that we're using right now that are not ARM64 to the all-in-one in ARM64. Um, so I have to improve the image uh, with all the tools that uh, are provided by others' images. And right now I'm dealing with the one uh, used for the Terraform and uh, putting all the all the tools in the all-in-one and then trying uh, the new version of the shot pipeline library uh, with each of those uh, repository and to make sure that they are going through and working. And I uh, will have to do exactly the same with uh, update CLI using another image and to make sure that uh, the Docker and file and to make sure that that uh, image is uh, correctly replaced by the all-in-one. And with the all-in-one, we will be able to work in ARM64 or AMD64 um, uh, pods or, or VM. Everything will be exactly the same because they are built all-in-one. That's the aim, having only one to update and keep up to date. So right now I'm working on those uh, shared pipeline libraries. Uh, this one, it's Hervé and Damien. They try to replace Blob Lixfer as uh, with as copy because that will solve a lot of uh, uh, mislinked that uh, uh, make thing that we we don't we don't download the the correct file because it's not synchronized correctly or it's synchronized too much files and and then changing their dates and and uh, I think it's costing more money because there is writing on the on the site so no no progress yet they're working on the um, service principle because we don't want to uh, to give too much uh, trust uh, in in those uh, content in those um... oh sorry where we we copy the, the data if you if we give too much uh, um, rights anyone can hack and put stuff in those so we need to make sure that the security is really closed and uh, and no one can access that and put stuff in in those okay so yeah uh this one is postponed and is waiting for um security team to uh have a look on the on the code if i remember correctly we are at that point no no day this week Now we we still need to make sure that the service principle is uh, is in uh, is dealt with, and same with Blob Xfer. Yeah, same. But no no progress, and still waiting for the security team to make sure that we are not doing anything crazy. And uh, Damien found an issue yesterday on uh, um, Azure, where we got a SNAT port exhaustion network. Uh, that's something nice. Uh, it explained uh, uh, network's problems because for uh, every um, connection to the outside, to the internet, 
um, there is um, a port opening and that port uh, is usually open for 30 minutes or one hour, depending on the configuration. And we only have uh, something like 64,000 SNAT. And we are all eating that limitation. I think it's pending total, it's per hour or something like that. And um, this is, oh. And this is causing network latency and network uh, slowing. So Damien think that it may explain those issues. And, uh, and uh, we need to, uh, um, there is multiple solution. We can uh, move CI Jenkins IO on the new subscription and it will have its own IP for the outgoing uh, connection. So limiting the, the volume. Uh, we can also change the configuration and have a, a window of, of those uh, um, liveness of those ports uh, shorter, like few minutes. Um, we can also, and that's what I think they have done with the old prod public K8S, um, having multiple IPs for the outgoing uh, connection and using a load balancer to uh, to use on the outbound connection. Uh, so there's multiple way, but we will have to deal with that and that may solve a lot of uh, our problems. But migrating to the new uh, 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 subscription is something uh, kind of easy and that can uh, um, allow us to use more of that subscription and that may be the first step, but we'll see. And yes, that that problem on Windows agent much slower. We don't have much information, but that this may be uh, involved too with the network connection. When it's it's slowness, we it's not easy to pinpoint the problem. So in, in, when, when the network will be, uh, network problem will be solved, we will, be, we will then be able to pinpoint which problem can cause slowness anymore. Again, still, still. Yes, so we are done. We are done. Let's see if there is some new issues. Let me 3H, uh, this one, we spoke about that. We spoke about that, this one. Quadient for next execution plugins. I'm sorry, I don't get this issue at all. You- uh... It's about uh, adding this plugin in the crowd, the Quadian. Uh, interface administration. It's a okay. uh, SAS to, to manage translation. Okay. Hello, Hervé. Let me. Oh, you did that already. Yeah, since some time already. Thank you, Hervé. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so, the, do you have something to add? Because uh, okay, you did well. We're done. Yeah, thank you. So it's all for today. Oh, um, I, I can I ask you, Hervé? We um, I checked the two four four one of yeah, today, and it's Mark out, pushed, but not the uh, oh, Mark did Mark, it. Mark uh, pushed tag. Uh, he created the entity tag uh, about twenty minutes ago. Uh, oh. We should see the container image in uh, oh. in twenty minutes max. Perfect. Thank you. So tag tag will be available. So uh, no, Docker image will be available shortly. Thank you. So if uh, nobody has something to add, I will tell you, uh, see you next week. Have fun. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.